Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating doors that open up through a switch. So, you know, if you've played the original Doom or any game based on it, really, you know, you hit the switch and then the door in the vicinity opens or maybe it reveals a secret area. There's a whole lot of stuff we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is I'm going to hit Control shift d to bring up the draw rectangle mode. And I'm just going to throw in a doorway, much like how we've done in all of the other door tutorials. And then I'm just going to make... Okay, I did not want that there. I'm going to make me another hallway. Nice narrow hallway, actually. Okay, just going to have a lot of hallways around Yeah, And... Now what we need to do is we're going to set up our door kind of similar to how we usually do. So we're going to select the sides, right click, and then we're going to set it to lower unpegged. And then what we're going to do is hit S. And then we're going to select our sector here. And this is where uh, having, you know, your sectors uh, be tagged appropriately goes a long, long way. And we're going to set it to tag five. So I just select unused there because, you know. And we're going to go into uh, the 3D view by hitting Q. And we're going to drag down our door. And now we're just going to assign our textures. So I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to go to the front. And I'm going to set this to the door. And then this one as well. I'm just going to reuse the door texture. And I'm going to go back into 3D view make sure everything's OK. All right, perfect. So our door. Our door is there. Now, how do we do this? Because, I mean, obviously, you know, right now, you know, we don't have it set up like before. Now, this door is going to go up and stay up, but you could, uh, you know, have the door be open from the other side by just, you know, selecting the door, or you could have another switch. But I'm going to put a switch right here. So I'm going to select this and right click. And then from the front view, I'm going to change this texture. So we can scroll down over here and we see switches and we have a wide, a fairly decent wide variety. Now we could build like, you know, a custom sector for the switch and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm just going to use this one right here. And then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit Q and I'm going to go into the 3D view here. And you can kind of see that, you know, the switch really doesn't uh, doesn't really line up and it's starting to tile. Uh, so I'm just gonna, while hovering over it, I'm just going to just, uh, move it over a little bit until it's kind of in the middle there. Okay, so now we have our texture set up. I'm gonna right click on the line def. I'm gonna go to properties. And then I'm gonna set our action to 202, which is door generic. I'm gonna set our type to open and stay. And when player presses use and then for the sector tag we want to attach it to sector five and then we'll hit okay and you could also you know require keys and all sorts of other stuff with this and as you can see it now if you hover over it it points straight to it same thing here oh no it's just only here uh it's letting you know that that's the tag that it's associated with and now if we were to run this and there are no errors which is good and we just run right over and we select this. We can't do anything, you know, get that nice sound effect. But if we come over here and select this, the door goes right up. It stays up. And now we're in here. And that is how you create a door with, well, a switch. And there's, like I say, you know, there's lots of different ways you can do it. You can have it, you know, set inset into the wall. Uh, you could do it almost any way. It's pretty wild. And you can't select it again because it's a non-repeatable function. So it's one time. And um, there you go. I mean, it's super simple. We're getting out of the doors, though. So we get to move on to more fun stuff now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Or you can join the Discord. And I will see you all in the next one. You guys have a good one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. 
Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.